there are two forces that drive every single behavior you have, every single behavior anyone you've ever met has. So two forces that drives all human behavior. Do you know what they are? The uh, two forces are actually pain and pleasure. Most of us have a desire to get away from something that's painful. If we have something that's gonna come and hurt us or harm us, we've gotta get away from it. And then we also have this drive to go towards pleasure and attain some pleasure. Now, if you're ever looking to influence anyone, whether that be because you're coaching them or mentoring them, or maybe because they're family members, you wanna you know, get your kids to take a different course of action, uh, or you, you want to get some to uh, maybe buy into your product or service, then we need to be leveraging both pain and pleasure. Some people are more motivated to get away from pain. Some people are more motivated to, to go towards pleasure. So it's helpful to understand the specific person's needs. But if you're not using both of these in your ability to help people change or influence them into a cell, then you need to. I know that many clients that I've worked with are often afraid to help people identify the pain. They don't want to be the person seen to be causing them pain. And I think it's so important if we're going to influence people, we need to ask them questions in the right way to help them realize the pain that they're currently in or the pain that they're going to be in if they don't make a change. Okay. And so uncovering that pain is uh, is really important, important point. So what we need to do to help someone successfully move is identify pain to their old behavior or pain to the situation they're in and help them realize the pleasure that they're gonna obtain. I think there's a, a sales technique that does this super well. I don't know if you've ever heard of a book by a guy called Neil Rackham. He talks about the idea of spin selling as a way to help people make a purchasing decision. And so he talks about the idea is first we need to understand a person's situation. Right? So we need to understand who they are, get some rapport with them, understand what's going on in their life. Then we need to understand this, the spin situation, the problem. What is the problem that they're in? Now, in asking them about their problem, what I, most of our customers have problems, that's what we're here for as business owners, is to help them fix a problem. We need to ask them, like, what is the implication of their problem? What is the cost of that problem? What's it actually gonna mean to them if they don't fix this? Getting people to be explicit about that and explain fully the extent of the pain and um, you know, maximizing what that is, is even better. So as an example, if someone comes to me, let's imagine I'm a fitness trainer, and someone comes to me with the problem that they are carrying a bit more weight than they want, I need to help them identify what is the implication, what's that really costing them, right? Ultimately, it's costing them um, maybe their levels of fitness and energy. Maybe they can't concentrate as much as they want to on their work. Maybe they are not as mobile to run around with the kids as they want to be. Maybe they fear having a heart attack and passing away. Um, you kind of get where I'm going. The more I'm asking, well, what's the consequence? What does this really mean? What's it really costing you in your life? The more that problem becomes more obvious. And so it's only at that point that they're aware of the problem and what a big issue it is for them that they're going to be more motivated to take action. Someone will take action if they feel that massive and immediate pain now, like right away. Um, some One powerful piece is to actually even help them see the pain in the future. What's it going to mean if you don't change? Right? What's going to come? Where are you going to be in five years, 10 years, 15 years if you don't make the change now? Right, so it's bringing some of that future pain back to now that could be useful. So identify the pain, help them realize the pain, and then additionally help them see the pleasure. What is the pleasure that they will have in the future if they make a change? What is the pleasure that will come from taking this new course of action? Now, ideally, if you can help them get connected to that vision of what they can create in their life or what they can achieve, and you connect that to your product or your service or your solution, they're more likely to want to take it because if they can associate your service helping them to get that outcome then and achieve that pleasure and get away from that pain, there's a, uh, a good connection there. So what is the situation? What is the problem? What is the implication? And then he calls it spin, the needs payoff. The needs payoff is where you explain your product or service. Now the key piece is you use your product or service, okay, your explanation of your product or service, uh, in a way that resolves the problems and the implications they just had. You want to use their words, their terminology. Now, if you use those four steps, I kind of, there's a whole book there I've just uh, summarized for you in about two or three minutes. If you use those steps effectively, you shouldn't really be getting objections. I know uh, I've had some clients this week come and share that they are receiving objections and it's because they're not using this methodology effectively enough yet. If they can really get into understanding the person's situation, really understand the problem and the implications of that, that person could be highly motivated to change already because they can already see enough pain in the situation. Okay, and then when we present our solution and it resolves it, it, it takes away the majority of objections. Okay, anyway, I wasn't even planning to talk about spin setting, but uh, the, the key piece here is um, pain. 
We've got to help people get away from pain or help them identify the pain that they're in and give them a solution that's going to move them towards pleasure. That's how we influence them uh, either in any life coaching situation or business coaching situation, uh, but more importantly, in a selling situation. All right, that's it from me. Have yourself a great day. I will catch you tomorrow.